Alright. Boy, man, I'm being quiet in this recording session. Probably because I keep accidentally, like, well, not accidentally, but oh my God, I keep, like, getting distracted by freaking Family Guy. Oh, well. So I suppose I better demonstrate the uh, good old arena. I'm going to demonstrate this in the safest way I know how, and that's by using a save state, because, sorry, this is just a temporary show. It has absolutely no finding on what I'm doing. I'm going to demonstrate the arena with Noah. So I can wager gold. So basically, this is how it works. You basically fight and you try to win the arena. It's simple as that. God damn it, Noah, you're probably going to fail your very first fight, aren't you? This is just great. How the hell can I show the arena if Noah's going to fail his very first fight? The idea is that you can uh, escape from arenas by hitting the B button so you don't end up dying. Oh, uh, well, no, you did not do your best at all. Anywho, let's actually demonstrate winning in the arena. So if you fail in the arena, you can just quit and go back. And this time, we're fighting a shaman. This will be a lot. Holy shit. 14? Jesus. That is a lot of magic. And of course, you get hit by it. But luckily, I can double the guy. There you go. That's basically what happens when you're in the arena. It's a simple matter. So when I here's your money, you get double back. And yeah. That's basically the gist of arena grinding. I have decided that unless things start to get bad, I'm not going to actually arena grind. I did way, way, way too much arena grinding in the past two games, and it kind of made the experience less fun. So I'm going to try to go through this game without any form of arena grinding whatsoever. Aw, oh, shit! Here's a song by a gay guy. It's Rick Astley. This is how it got popular, isn't it? Yeah, this is. How come this video is not on YouTube? No matter how hard I look, I can't find it. Get this from any other guy. No, I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you hellfire. Never gonna give you up. That was a level up. Oh, yes, I damn it. Oh, hey, I got speed. Never mind. Yep, and once again, another javelin, so what the hell. And hurt you. God damn, I love that song. That is a really great song. Just, just saying that right now. I don't care what anyone says. You gotta love some Rick Astley. Give you up. Oh, uh, what a great song. I got, you know, I do have it on my iPod. What the hell am I talking about? I do legitimately have it on my iPod. Although it was kind of as a joke, except now it legitimately is on my iPod. Anywho, let's mend up Chad. There we go. What the hell just happened? Okay, whatever. I don't understand what just happened there. The screen kind of cut. I'm not talking about my game, I'm talking about Family Guy once again. Okay, Chad, you're level 11. Is anyone level 10? No, everyone seems to be leveled up to where they need to be. Solid. Alright, Boris, continue taking care of that guy. Hopefully, I'm not running into any mages, otherwise, it might have been a stupid move, but I don't think it was. Nope, I think we're good. And perfect. Good job, Lou. See, he's so reliable killing people. It's great. He just middle fingers you and you die. Love you, Lou. And that is going to be a B in magic? Yeah, it is. Alright, good deal. He can use one of the most broken spells in the game now. Which we're going to find. Uh, actually, it'll probably take a while before we find it. To be perfectly honest. Uh, I'm going to have you run up, Roy. Right, we have to have someone deal with that. Zealot, you're going to go help out. I'm rolling this over there. Uh, Marinus, you're going to go hide back there. And let's deposit some of this shit, because we don't need it. Yep, there we go. Okay, what are we gonna do with this guy with? Ooh, he's a painful motherfucker. Alright, how about the Iron Sword? I'm one damage off of killing him. Whatever, I'm gonna deal with it. With the Iron Sword! If I do this with the Iron Sword, I should be able to not dodge it, but... Bring him down to one health, and someone else should be able to easily finish it off. Because that is very apparent. When you have one health, it's pretty easy to get finished off. Well, when you can attack over here, though. So, we'll leave it up to Chad. Wham! 
That has got to hurt, getting a knife shoved through your face. Just got to say that right now. No critics are not raving about RoboCop, Mr. Commercial. Please do not lie. I mean, it's, uh, it's okay. But it's not that great. Anyway, here's the physics staff users. For some reason, they're over there. I don't know. Alright, let's go take care of this guy. We got shit to do. I should probably have some units start heading back because we have to deal with the back spawners who we're inevitably going to, yeah, inevitably going to have to fight. And Zealot's not doing too bad. He's been dodging up a storm. He's been hitting some enemies, doing some good damage. Not bad. All right, Trek, you are not the person I'm looking for. Alan, you are the person I'm looking for. Saul, if you go over here, if we heal this guy up. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, there's something I want to do. Configure solo. I want everyone to be on with the exception of Saul. I don't like waiting through the healer's animations. They're just not that... Oh, god damn it. Did I just turn everyone's animations off again? Okay, everyone's animations still on. I just don't like sitting through the healer's animation because it takes forever and it really just has the... <laughs> it's just annoying music. Solid. Some skill, speed, and resistance. I'll take that. Okay, Alan, you're over there. Roy, oh, you're also going to head down, I suppose. I would like it if you had a better weapon than an iron sword, though, but I think you're just going to have to deal with it at this point. Because I don't really see anyone with a better weapon. No, indeedy. No, indeedy. Okay. Um, Alright, we have two other villages to head over here. And two villages down there, so there's plenty of items to still go around. Let's have Lou visit this one. Medicine, medicine, this cures everything. No matter what kind of wounds you have, this will restore you completely. Contents are a secret, though. Can't tell you, or I'll get in trouble. Hmm, you don't want the medicine? No, I'll give you some free if you buy it next time. And thus we get an elixir. Elixirs are good because they're basically full HP recovery. That's basically it. That'd be a perfect item for a high HP unit, like a fighter, or a warrior, or even a paladin. Such as Zealot. Except I'm not wasting it on Zealot. Be careful. General Legans is out of burn now. He went and slaughtered all those who resisted him. If I save my own hide, please take this. It's proof for heroes. Give this to them. Keep fighting. Protect Ost. And now we get a hero's crest, which is almost completely useless to me right now. But it will not be useless to me forever, because there's actually going to be a unit I'm going to be using later, who will in fact need a hero's crest. For most Myrmidons, Mercenaries, and Fighters. I'm going to be using a Mercenary in a bit, and anyone who's played this game can pretty much guess who I'm going to be using, but whatever. Social Knights, Paladins, Nomads, all those guys riding on horses. The spear, the night killer, effective against him. There's a lot of horsemen in the rebel army, so use this against him. Here's a horse slayer. Yep, it does exactly what it says. It slays horses. Really heavy though, so you kinda just have to deal with that as it comes. Oh wow, what the hell? What's up with that hit ratio? Its hit ratio is even higher than the Iron Lance. That's weird. Huh. Alright, well I'll take that. Oh hey, robot chicken. Man, it's 12 o'clock already. So technically it's 2.22, 2014. Alright, Roy. Let's throw you in that bush right there. Um, we're going to throw you in that bush right there. I believe we'll equip you with the Iron Lance. So you're going to sit back just in case. Shrek, you're going to do nothing. Just go party over there with that guy. And we're going to have Chad, Lou, and Boars run forward, I suppose. Because they got to take care of everything up here. Ah, right. Actually put him in the range of Mr. Steel Lance guy. That was smart. Holy shit balls, he can do a lot of damage. Oh my god, it's a classic Care Bear scene. Yep. Damn, 16 damage. That is really bad. China is stuck getting hit by those. Ah, here it is. More reinforcements than arriving from the south soon. <laughs> Unless you are shot when you get hit from behind. No, we won't, because we can break the fourth wall and have the greatest of all powers. Dramatic irony. The ability to know all while the characters know nothing. <laughs> you can't beat me when I have that power on my side. God damn it, Luke can actually one-shot this guy. That's pretty impressive, actually, to tell you the truth. Would have figured that would have been possible. But apparently not. 
Okay then, Chad, you're going to... I can't actually steal from you. I can support. Oh, hey, that'd be kind of cool. Not sure if I should get their support up. Actually, you know what? No, that wouldn't be a terrible support to get up. I'm thinking about it. Yo, can you kill anyone? I don't think you can. Oh, shit, you can probably kill no one, can't you? 21... Minus 7... Yeah, you can definitely kill Noah. Um, Get him out of there? Okay, let's see. So if your range is about that far, I'm going to slap you right there. And are you able to... No, you're not. Check is fine. Did I just put him... No, I didn't. Okay. And you're going to be right there. Pretty much detract from everything. Yep. Good deal. Good, good deal. Let's keep going. Oh, hey, I actually still have one village left to collect. I almost missed that. Didn't even notice. Are you going to help Lady Luna? Here's something that can cure injuries from a distance. If Lady Luna is hurt, please help her. <coughs> and we get a physics staff, which I don't even think anyone can use right now. Maybe Saul can if... Well, no, he definitely can't have a B already. He's close-ish. He'll get it eventually. I guess I'll throw Zealot over here just in case. I should probably also go over and heal Noah. Just to make sure something stupid doesn't happen. Because these enemy reinforcements that are spawning from behind might just move on enemy turn. Which would be mean. I don't think they do, though. Eh, good deal. You're just going to continue wasting your iron sword usage, though. So, not a really good deal at all. But I'm guessing the physics staff users are going to heal. Oh, you mother scumfucker. Please don't get healed by the other one, too. There they are. Okay, how are we going to deal with these guys? We got our lance. Silver lance. Steel lance, steel lance. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I think what we're going to do is perfect. Okay. We're going to have Saul sit back here. We're going to have you plant it right there. <coughs> How much would the steel sword weigh you down? Uh, 11. That guy can, like... Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be doubled by that guy. Uh, actually, I wouldn't be doubled. What's the steel sword again? Zeal it, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have Zeal it sit right here. I'm going to equip the steel sword. I'm not going to bother talking because I don't feel like voice acting. And now you're going to sit right here. And we're basically going to form the wall, if you will. And that'll be good. Okay, now we just have to take care of Mr. Yu. This shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Just a couple fires and he's down. Yeah! Now we just have to have Chad deal with the other two. Very, very, very simple. All oh, six of magic. Good deal. And he also got a little bit of skill too, so that's fine. He doesn't really need skill. He's plenty accurate. Oh yeah, something you will notice, uh, generally these guys have really good uh, avoidance, so have fun taking care of them. Good deal. I'm not sure why he has green hair, and he's probably going to end up getting healed by his partner over there in crime. But, uh, well. Boys, I suppose you got to head up too. We do have some armories you can visit right here. That'd be an interesting thing to visit. Alright, let's see how these guys take care of this shit. Oh no, the rebel's just gonna heal himself a vulnerary. What a bastard. And Silver Lance. Oh damn, that's a lot of damage. Holy shit. Okay. Hmm. Are you okay? You're gonna rush forward too. Steel Lance not gonna do anything to Zealot, because he has some nice defense, especially on a bush. Of course, Zealot missed. Well, he got the other head, that's fine. I'll live. This comes up you, and you have a javelin, of course. Nope. We have to make sure that Silver Lance guy is our first priority. We really have to take care of that guy. However way necessary. Okay. Yeah, how about you, Zealot? What can you do? You can do 12. Damn, he's pretty powerful. Alright. Well, we can have Alan take care of this guy. I think that'd be probable. Hmm. How am I going to want to take care of this guy, I'm wondering. I think it might just be best to bum rush him with all my units that I can. For example, um, you can have Noah see what he can do. Never mind, that is a really bad decision. How, how strong is this Cavalier? Holy shit. He's a pretty damn good rival to Noah. 
gonna say that right now. So if I could do 13. Um, ship bit shout out. Okay, we're gonna have seal it just go for it. If he gets five no, he's not gonna get hit by everything. I'm just gonna have Zealot take care of him then. In what little way he can. Ow, that kinda hurt a lot. Okay, then. Now we're gonna have Roy. 27% chance, that's fine. There we go. Juke. And a critical would help, but of course he doesn't get it. It wouldn't kill him anyway. That's fine. Alright, now we just need to make sure we get all these guys out of dodge. And that should be easy ish. I'm gonna have you go right here. I'm gonna heal up Marcus for no apparent reason. Mostly just get some unnecessary healing out. Out the way. There we go. There you go, Marcus. Now we just need to make sure that we cannot be reached. Which would mean going this way. There we go. Alright, let's go see what's inside these armories. Interesting. We got some slim lance. Alright. How about a couple steel lances? And even a couple javelins. Well, just one. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, unfortunately, Lou cannot really make a dent on this guy. I mean, you can kind of make dents. Four damage. A whole four damage. But yeah, it's definitely gonna have to be Chad who does the actual damage to Mr. Physic Healer over here. There we go. And I still haven't supported yet. I should really get on to doing that. Because their supports are pretty helpful when they're together. Yep. And level level has increased. What does that give you now? A C. Oh wow. Alright, you start with an E, didn't you? Right. Alright, Zealot, you're not in any trouble whatsoever. Yeah, you're fine. <clears throat> not that I really care. I mean, this is the we're talking about. He'll live. Plus, everyone's just going to end up going for Roy anyway. And what I say. Unfortunately, Roy's just going to be one damage short of killing this guy, but that means he's pretty much free game for one of us to get a lot of experience for on the next turn. Being level 15, we're pretty much just going to get a shitload of experience from him. And Roy's unfortunately just literally going to be aimed by everybody. God damn it, javelins. Okay, then. Let's go. We got some shipage skill. First off, we need to make sure this guy is dealt with. Seal it, I think you could... Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely do that. Unfortunately, you might miss, because you only have a 69% chance. But my luck is there's a lot of luck in 69 -ing. There's not a lot of luck in 69 -ing, apparently. Oh, well. Let's deal with these guys. Um, who wants the experience? Alan could take that experience very well. Please don't miss. Thank you. And is that a full level up? Oh, that's close. That was a lot of experience, though. A lot more than what people usually have gotten throughout this chapter. Can I deal with you? No, I can't. I can... Do they both have 11? No, they... That guy's 15. Never mind. Alright, you'll just deal with him, then. Only a 9% chance. That's pretty pathetic. Here we go. Bunga bunga walk walk walk. Ba da da da. Ba da ba ba. All right, let's go see what's over here. Actually, you know what? Better yet, before we do that, let's have you go unlock this door. We'll have Lou go see. Except I want to have Lou fight the boss, don't I? Lou might do it very well against the boss, but I might want someone else to do it. Eh, what the hell? I have Lou do it. Might as well. I need him to be ready for when we get our first guiding ring, guiding ring, whatever you call him. Marcus, get your ass over there. We gotta make sure we check out this. Or you're gonna be right there for healing. For some healing. Bob Bussell. Yep. Man, I really do run out of commentary once I start playing Fire Emblem. I guess it's just such a slower game. You really have to focus on your own commentary level and ability rather than talking about the game. Because the game is very basic. I can kind of see why recording Fire Emblem would actually be a rather difficult game to record at times. Very fun game to record, though. Very fun game. Okay. Hmm. I also seem to do the hmm a lot more whenever I play Fire Emblem, don't I? Because I'm legitimately thinking. Uh, let's go first two lands. Not sure why I had Zealot finish it off. In fact, that was kind of stupid. Whatever. Zealot needs some extra experience for no reason other than the fact that he needs to steal some. 
down. There you go. You're going to take care of this guy. Bam. And that's level 12. A brown, right? Right indeed. Oh, god damn it. Never mind not right indeedy. Okay. Let's go check out this armor now. We have iron blades. Very large and powerful blade. That would be okay for Zealot. Um, let me take a look. So if he lost one speed, he'd be at 12. 12 is, uh, at Alan's level. Okay, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Let's buy him one. Let's be nice for the hell of it. There you go. Iron Blade. We also have some axes. We're gonna wanna... Actually, no, we have plenty of axes. Also take a couple steel swords. And an iron sword, just for the hell of it. There we go. Just one of every sword, except for the slim sword. Which you don't really need. Um, alright. Ooh, go over there. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait. Unlock. Now go over there. Ah, shit, I keep forgetting to support, goddammit. 